item power spike. And by stronger, I guess it would mean cheaper. Of course, man immune being much cheaper Ooh. than IE. And whoa. We have an Akali for Bin in the so many top. Summoners burnt bot. We know that Trundle is hovering around this lane. Move topside, get a kill on that Akali. But no, they want to go straight for the Drake. OG starting this one off, and it's. It's interesting to see Hacker focusing on this bottom side of the map. SOFM's here, he wants to contest. Cold. Extremely risky. Cold should be able to block this one off, but Sooning, they're outnumbering right now. Drake goes down. Now the fight. Dazzle only onto Cold. Hacker pushed back. What an Emperor's Divide. Hacker's going to be the first casualty as SOFM walks away with the Triumph. Icon trying to chase him down, but Huanfang has damage right there. Sword Art falls. And OMG in a weird position here. Three versus three now. Cold takes a good chunk as he moves in. Icon, Bin just going toe to toe consistently. And Hacker has moved up to help reset the wave here for Curse so that it can't be frozen against him. And maybe also just soak a few CS for himself. Oh, it's uh, interesting for, to see them zone Akali off this turret. Would have been pretty nice to see them just go for the reset, maybe make their way down towards the dragon. They want to go for this. Twilight Shroud runs out. Knock up. Nice flash from Bin. And the Shuriken flip. The rest of the team's arriving, but Icon's here. Empress Divide from Angel. He's trying to turn it around. Curse walks away. Icon walks away. OMG, that was clean. Bin played that really well, but like you said, OMG coming out so nicely. Looked Bin really... Teemo. It's like a global taunt. Everyone wants to focus you. Whether, whether it's the right decision or not, they're going to try and get the kill. Here we go. Speaking of, they're going to try and get the kill onto Bin. Twilight Shroud comes on through. He cannot 1v1 Icon, though. My lord. That Triforce spike is massive. Now in the bottom lane, Infernum goes down onto two. SOFM stunned up, knocked up, and he's stuck underneath the tower. He's tanking, but walks away with his life. Sword Art keeping the Cosmic Radiance available. SMLZ flashes forward. He's onto one and he gets the kill. What a play from SMLZ. This man is flashy, but he's been dazzled away by Sword Art. I hope you like gems. He's going to walk away 2-0 to OMG there. And that play was actually started by Sooning. Sooning were the aggressors, but oh. when you're trying to dive a Braum at 16 minutes. We're not done just yet, because in goes Hacker. You can't Empress divide the Olaf. He's Ragnarokin and he's Ragnarolling now. Cold wants Whoa. to find the kill. Flash is going to be answered. Yeah, Cold looking really good on this Braum, and we just talked about Sooning were the ones who initially started that play on bot side since Icon went up. You're not going to dive a Brahma Filios at level 8, 9, 10, so it didn't work out. SMLZ especially playing so good in an extended so long. And an Orn and a Corky coming in on the flank. Could have a fight though. Yep, uh, Curse is not here yet, so they need to be a bit careful. Aka forced to use his Ragnarok here. He didn't actually get the blue buff for himself. Curse walking away easy. Takes a couple of hits. Call of the Forge God though. They're not going to focus on to Huan Fong, despite being kind of out of position. Cosmic Radiance used Huan Fong. Now the focus. Concussive blows. Not even needed. He goes down to a single auto from SMLZ in the end. I want to know why Huan Fong even took that path and walked down there know. like they were going to be the aggressors in that fight. He took four autos to go through a control ward during the fight. I'm not quite sure what was going through his head, but it was not the play. Now into the bottom lane. Five members strong with a Rift Herald. OMG, they want an inhibitor. OMG doing so good at not only punishing Sooning with another AD carry on his team. Great to see the respect from Sooning, though. Understanding that they can just force that one with the right weapons. Dazzle comes through. Call of the Forge God as well. Sword Art is very deep, but he had a stopwatch. There's a face call. Good by Bin. Good by SOFM. Two more kills for SMLZ. Bin tries to bin more like trash, Omega Lull. Please don't insult pro players. Too late. Already did. He's certainly not a bad player, but he's not having a fun time this game. Angel forced away by Icon. Love to see it. No. By time, Bin had no chance against the likes of SMLZ. And SOFM trying to get in there as well. We Doesn't have to teleport, so. Worst case scenario, he can always jump on up to the rest of the squad. But Icon has so much freedom in this top lane to do whatever he damn well pleases. There's nothing Bin can do about that. And with everyone moving up to try and punish Icon, it means... Oh no, Package just ran out! 
oh, the timing is appalling for Icon. He needs to just try and finish off Finn, but I don't know if he's going to be able to. One more auto, but the Twilight Shroud ruins everything. TP from Curse now. Icon surviving. Valkyrie not available, but the rest of his team is here. Cold keeps him alive, and suddenly it's all gone wrong for Sooning. They thought they got the pick, but they've been picked apart instead. Angel barely survives. Undertow flashed away from SOFM under the tower, and Hacker happy to tank that one up. Now they just waltz into the base. Bot lane inhibitor is open, but they're looking to the top side. It's so depressing that Icon can just sit in this lane by himself, feel unharmed against all the members of Sooning coming into him, but still great follow-up by the side of OMG to bait Sooning in, get all those kills, and now take the inhibitor. My lord, what a performance we are seeing out of OMG here. And I was coming into this thinking this was going to be scrappy. This was going to be back and forth, five 40 minute games. But OMG right now. That we've built up all around the split. And once they, once Sooning falls behind, they really just don't have a way of getting back into the game. We Throw might... hard enough, you can win. That is one win condition. Icon knocked up with the pillar, but obviously he can just Falcon out. This will be the third inhibitor, and I've got a feeling we've just got one fight left to go with this Ocean Soul ticking away. We're just going to wait for these supers to move in. Angel needs to get back on the fountain. He's down to half. SOFM, he wants to tank this up, but he just ain't tanky yet. First tower falls. Finn wants to get onto them. Jumps into the back line. Twilight Shroud there. Dazzle onto everybody, but the Ooh. Emperor's Divide isn't enough. SMLZ surviving. There's nothing you can do. The Ocean Soul is just too damn strong. Get onto the fountain, they say. Forced back into the base. What are they doing to them, Munch? This is brutal, honestly. OMG, I thought this was going to be close, but gatekeepers is the word for OMG as they hold on.